What up, Factionistas, and welcome back. Today we're talking Ice King Crown. You feel me? So this is what it uh, normally looks like, but it got bent a little bit. So in its prime, it looked a little something like this. This is from the Ice King tutorial that I posted last week, and if you haven't already, you definitely need to go to my YouTube channel and watch it. Okay, this entire ice crown concept is inspired from Jordan Hans's original genius So it's all off of her so I'm gonna have her link down below so you guys can watch her original version The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is hot glue So I originally used this smaller version of this hot glue um, With my hot glue gun and you guys can tell that it has a little bit of a yellow undertone It's kind of hard to see but then I got this larger one and this one has more of an iridescent blue undertone And that to me shows off as a little bit more true ice. I would suggest using the larger one to give you guys a little bit of an example, so this is the original crown that I'd used in my video. You guys can see right here in this area, it has a little bit of that yellow undertone, a little bit of murky water. And right up here is the larger glue stick, and it has more of an iridescent blue, and I think pulls more of a true ice. So this is definitely something to keep in mind when you're at the craft store. So all you're really going to need now is a hot glue gun. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the foundation of the entire piece, which is essentially the headband. I'm using a plate that I actually enjoy, so I'm using a little bit of saran wrap to kind of protect that plate. It will ruin it unless you want to pick off toxic glue off your plate for like an hour and a half. So I would suggest using cling wrap. It comes off very easily. I'm spraying it with a little bit of cooking oil just to help it along. The heat of the glue stick will have that glue stick to it, but it's nothing too crazy. Essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to use this hot glue gun and we're going to create a circle which is essentially going to be the headband for your head. So really simple here, just go with the glue gun and just make a circle that you guys can kind of rough shape that would fit the perimeter of your head. And if it doesn't, you can cut it and then add more hot glue to make a larger section. It's very easily customizable, don't you worry. This entire process, you want to do it about two to three times, and that way it will be pretty good. And another side story is that the iridescent blue, more ice-looking glue had a little bit more elasticity than the original, so it fit on my head real good and snuggies. Ta-da! Here we go. Look at that. Headband. Yeah, so it has a lot of stretch to it, too, so it fits on your head so you can get it, you know, kind of close. So now I'm taking a plate that I don't really care about, and I'm going to spray it with some cooking oil. I'm using Pam. Not to be confused with spam, because I say spam all the time. And I'm using a tissue to kind of rub that in, because you don't need all of this, and then you're going to have, you know, little lubricated hands for, you know, hours. Not too fun. So with this glue stick, all you're really going to do is you're going to make straight lines, and you're going to taper them off on the end. So what, right here, I'm making just an icicle shape. Bam. We're going to start off by doing four. And the four is going to be the foundation for the overall crown, and I'll let you guys know what I mean by that in just a couple seconds. So you're just going to keep on going, and you're going to make four medium-sized, medium, like long-ish sized <laughs> icicles. So once those are dry, you're going to go in and you're going to add a little bit of dimension to kind of get a little bit more of like a melted water ice veal, veal feel, not fish. And you're going to kind of zigzag it across. And then it really looks like an icies. I go in one more time, too, just to kind of add a little bit more so they're not all going in the same direction. And look at that. It's ice, man. It's not ice. It's a hot glue gun, but everyone's going to think it's ice. So you're just going to do that four times. No big. And then just to demonstrate the incredible power of Pam, it comes right off. If you don't use cooking oil or anything like that, you're going to have to pick for days until your fingertips bleed. And by the time you do half of the crown, you're going to want to die. Just saying. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of those four pieces and we're going to apply it right to the center of our plate. From that, you want to grab the headband that we originally made and you want to just lock them in right in place. Easy peasy. From there, you just want to do adhere that with hot glue on the top and the bottom. I start with the bottom, I go into the top, and then I wiggle it up into the icicle itself to add a little bit more structure. And there you go. That's essentially what we're doing. You want to do that one more time with a second piece so you guys can get two little bunny ear sections going on. They don't have to be really touching as much, and I'm going to show you why. So now we're going to go in with the most important icicle piece. We're going to make two of these, but I'm going to show you how to do one. This is going to be the largest and the longest icicle in the entire crown. So you want to just go in the same thing that we did. You want to apply a huge strip, and then you want to zigzag them all the way down to add a little bit of dimension, and then go in one more time in an opposite direction so they don't look too uniform, and then bam. 
this icicle itself is going to be the focal point for the entire half of the crown. This is going to be the tallest and the longest piece, and then everything else is going to cascade downward from that. So this is, again, the most important piece. You want to apply that in between the two sections that we had already just previously made, and that's going to really, I mean, honestly, it's going to keep you focused. For an example, this is my original crown. This is the piece we're working on right now. You guys can see that it is the largest and the longest, and it adds the overall shape, and we're going to do that two times on each side of the crown. To give you a little bit more of a visual, this is the final crown that I used. You guys can see how it's longest on the left and right. And so this is what we're creating here, that little piece. So you just want to add a little bit of hot glue to the base of that headband, and then you want to just adhere that bad boy right on top. Ta-da! It all comes together in the end. If you guys, I've been live streaming on Instagram a lot, and you guys keep asking me to sing. There we go. That was for you. I'm also applying a little bit of glue to the top section. That's going to adhere the biggest icicle to the headband, but also going to adhere the middle section to the both of the bunny ear icicles that we had made. So it's all uniform, cohesive, and structured. So now what you're essentially going to want to do is you're going to create like 15 billion more icicles, and you're going to cascade them downward in a diagonal angle. It's essentially a triangle, and that's going to give you the overall shape that I used in my final Ice King crown. So all we're going to do now is make 10 billion icicles. I'm making some medium ones, and then I'm also making some smaller ones at the what you guys are seeing on the right side of the plate. Those are the kind of the smaller ones, which I will show you guys what we're going to use those for at the end. So you guys can see here now that we I added a bunch more icicles, but you guys can see at the bottom of the headband, it's very blunt, and there's a straight line. No me gusta that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more hot glue, and we're going to take the smallest pieces that I had made, and we're going to apply those going downward, and that's going to create that spiky overall shape. You want to do it in the same way that we did the top of the crown, where there is a focal largest piece in the center, and then the rest of them are cascading outwards in those you know bunny ear shapes. So what you're going to do is just add glue and attach them like so. Once that's on, there's like a little bit of inconsistency from those into the into the top section. So I'm just adding hot glue straight onto the crown to bleed those icicles into each other to make one solid chunk. You see what I'm saying? This is what we did. So now there's how there's icicles on the top and the bottom. Those are separate pieces that we connect later on. So basically, I'm running out of hot glue. So what you guys want to do is you want to do everything I just did again on the right side, and then you want to just connect them to the left side. I hope this made sense for you guys. I'm so sorry that I ran out of hot glue, but again, this is all inspired off of Jordan Hans' original ice crown. So go to the link in my description box below and watch her video. It's much more in-depth and fantastical. And thank you so much, Jordan, for being a creative genius. Also, follow me on Instagram. I've been doing the Instagram live video to hang out with you guys and connect with you guys in between videos so we can chit-chat. All right, cool. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.